Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the first issue of Armenian magazine Hai Dersim, 30th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between Armenia and Canada, the countries have established a strong political dialogue. From the forgotten pages of history, Western Armenian writer Zarui Kalem Karyan, the Hayastan Foundation continues large scale water supply works in Chartar and Bertashen in Artsakh. We support the free of speech and thought of Arvis Nalji and RTTV. The Russian intelligence agency denies the existence of Armenia. The Spanish publishing house has published a book about the Artsakh Liberation War. The Armenian Dersim platform, which started its activity in Western Armenia, published the first issue on a Turkish magazine of culture and art, Hay Dersim. The Armenian version of magazine Hay Dersim will be published in the near future. Work continues in this direction. The magazine Hay Dersim contains extensive information about Armenians of Dersim, which is also important from the point of view of Armenian studies. We believe that progressive people and our compatriots will support this magazine. Armenia and Canada celebrated a 30th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations on January 31. These three decades were marked by the formation of a lasting political dialogue between the two states. Despite the geopolitical distance, Armenia and Canada are united by strong ties and common approaches based on a universal values of democracy, human right protection and the rule of law. The official recognition of the genocide of Armenian people by Canada in 2004 was a vivid manifestation of the priority of this principle and the restoration of justice. Interparliamentary dialogue and parliamentary diplomacy occupy a significant place in bilateral relations. One of the first Armenian feminist writers who was born and worked in Western Armenia, Zaruhi Kalem Karyan, left a rich legacy of articles, essay, memories and poems more than a century ago when Armenian people lived through one of the darkest periods of their history. Armenian women took on the work of raising and caring for children. Previously, women derived for the rights and deprived of the voice by men have already raised their voices. But they talked about women's problems, founded magazines and newspapers and raised girls. Among them was the writer poet and essay Zarui Kalem Karyan. Today no one remembers Kalem Karyan, who was once known as loved by Armenian communities in different parts of the world. Read the full article on our official website. The villages of Chartar and Bertashen of Martin region of Artsakh have a water shortage problem. In both communities, the All Armenian Hayastan Foundation continues large-scale work on water supply. The external water conduit is being reconstructed. In these communities, they are mainly engaged in cattle breeding and agriculture. It is very important to resolve the water problem, especially after the war. The Bridge Corp program prepared by Aris Nalj, which touched upon the agenda of Armenian community, was to be broadcast on RTTV on January 30, 2022. In his program, he will discuss the trial of Levon Ekmekcian, convicted on charges of participating in 1983, Copan executed in 1983, and the impact of the death penalty of Turkish-Armenian society. It should be recalled that Ekmekcian's body has not yet been handed over to the family. Threatening messages were sent to Arvis Nalji, RTTV, and employees to cancel the program. To protect the safety of RTTV, employees the additional staff decided not to broadcast the program. The Armenian of Turkey occupied Western Armenia, in turn are being attached against the freedom of press and speech. Read the full article on our official website. The Russian intelligence agency Regnum, which last week reported that the screening of the film about Hitler's Garagin Nezdeo in Russia failed, continues the anti-Armenian policy. After this announcement, the Armenian embassy in Russia issued a statement noting that a film was shown. According to Regnum, in Russian Empire divided into provinces, Armenia as such did not exist. The author of the article claims that a Soviet period was a period of prosperity of Armenian people. The agency does not mention that it is during the Soviet years that the Russian-Turkish Treaty of 1921 was signed, dedicating most of the Republic of Armenia to Turkey and Baku. Russia continues to struggle with Garagin Nezde, whose name is associated with protection of Sunik region of Armenia. Now this area has become an obstacle to the plans of Moscow and Ankara. 
the Spanish publishing house Carena has published a book dedicated to the Artsakh Liberation War entitled On the Artsakh Frontline. This work presents the most significant events that unfold at the end of the 20th century in the Artsakh national liberation struggle and in the subsequent years. It began with the ring operation against the Armenians of Artsakh in April 1991 and ended with the four-day confrontation in April 2016. Despite the fact that dozens of studies and papers have already been created on these issues, and have been put on the reader's table. Nevertheless, the logic of full discussion of the topic suggests that there are still episodes concerning which it is in demand. Now the musical part, Armenian folk song, Jairan. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.